awesome. Man, that's freaking awesome. How do you do an installation at home and how do you go about this? I think it's really a case of keeping it simple, keeping it very real. So in this case, I had a case study conversation uh, a while ago about questions for a specific site. So this is the site, this is in the Adelaide Hills. As I mentioned, the way I'm standing here behind me, which is the direction that the antenna, the x pole 2 that we have is facing, is towards the suburbs, the hills and well, everything else is on the other side. And then we also see um, no, lots of trees. So actually behind me, the, the, one of the initial questions is can we hope to get 5G here and yes you can but I think you will have to wait for 5G when it gets to the lower frequencies the 850 megahertz or 900 megahertz um, but for now the 3.8 gig maybe not now just just as far as testing is concerned um, the um, house currently uses a Nighthawk M2 works okay but the signal isn't great so when when there's uh, was northerly wind. Um, I think it's northerly wind. Anyway, when, when things change, then the signal drops. And this is really the, the case of everything is okay until there's something that doesn't happen as you want it to be. And that basically means you're on the threshold of good enough. An antenna will still, it won't solve that problem of the environment, but it will give you away from that threshold, get you away from that threshold that basically when, when the wind happens, you drop in signal quality, but the antenna already puts you much higher, so then you stay connected. That's the whole thing here is getting you away from that fringe where things go from okay to not go okay anymore. That's basically what happens. Now, we're going to do the tests outside because that's just physically what we can do today. Um, but using the same cable, you can place the motor then in any place. So you can place the motor on the inside any room that you want to. You have the same effect because the antenna that's outside on the roof, eventually when it gets installed, that's where the things happen. So that's where you get your connection from, that's where the antenna connects to, or the signal connects to, the, the network connects to your modem, and then it's just a cable that guides it through. Now, if the cable runs like here, just outside, or if the cable has to run nicely through the house, that's not going to affect the performance. What is going to affect the performance is the cable length. And that's where our auger shop comes in, because obviously with this model, which is five meter cable, it is what it is, but more often than not, five is not enough. So you have to go longer to, well, we think in multiples of five, but you could actually get any length. You can get six, seven, whatever length. And at RF Shop, we do the custom length. When it goes to certain length, we go to a thicker cable. When it goes beyond 15 meters, for instance, we will go to the CLD 400, which is even thicker. And then the losses again gets accounted for. And you almost get to the same point with the shorter cable, just because you use better cables. Long story short. First thing first, I have a RT 950 because it's an awesome, reliable little modem. And I have with me the Nighthawk M6. Um, currently, the house uses an M2. From a radio performance perspective and the issues, it's the same thing. So, Nighthawk M2, M5, M6, much of a muchness from that perspective. Um, so, I look at my Teltonica RT 950. I just want to see what I currently get. And this is outside, so I'm not expecting major problems. I'm just going to record my screen. Um, go in, three, two, one, and I am connected through Wi-Fi to the 950. Let's see what I get. I'm just going to log in. So I've already logged into the actual inter system. Look at the network performance, and it gives me the numbers. Outside here, you'll see, uh, look at the screen, RS of P is minus 103 dBm. I mean, it's it's working, but that's definitely, that's where you say, well, yeah, we need to do something to make it better. RSRQ minus 11, signal to noise is 0.5. So you can see that there's going to be a problem at times. It's working well, it's working fine here, um, but that's that's really on that fringe. So now I'll just do a speed test of net just so we could um, just get some feeling for how the performance is with no, into the device by itself. So speed test of net, ping is 38, it's not too bad. Download. See, it's working okay, 20, 17, 15 down. So it's working, but it's on the fringe. And that's the problem. And then now if we connect it to the Expo 2, which is facing the um, suburbs, we should see a difference, hopefully for the better, of course. Um, I'm just completing the test. So upload is not bad, 14, 15. So it's, it's performing reasonably well. So final report, um, ping is 38, that's good. Download 18, upload 15. So 
it's functional. Let's do a difference. Make or break if this doesn't work, bug it. <laughs> and it is quite simple. So it's the same connector, SMA connectors. And as mentioned before, you see that there's little um, handles. It makes it easier to um, turn the actual connectors. And finger tight is good enough. You don't have to go anything more than just nice and finger tight. Don't. You can get a spanner. I'm not going to say the number because then you might want to look at it. Um, just use finger tight, it's good enough. Another thing, it doesn't matter which one goes where. That's a question we do get a lot. You have one and the other, you don't have to trace back and see what is what, what left and right, which one is which one, does not matter. Something goes. There we go, connected. What you may find sometimes, it is useful for you to actually just reset the modem just to make sure everything is good because obviously when you when you switch we kind of hot hot swap the antennas it doesn't always immediately recognize and it may get a little bit confused but if you do a complete reset and say okay there's the new antenna this thing registers with the whole setup and the whole antenna as it is which is going to work better so in this case done that so export 2 connected through its five meter cable the sma connectors into the modem all good so my Wi-Fi connection is to the unit itself. Okay, well, this is good. August of P is minus 88, and the signal to noise is 9.9. .9, so that's well above what we what we really want to see. It is on band 28. Band 28 means this is in the hill, so it's a remote area. So this is where the use of the lower frequencies, in this case 700 megahertz, really comes to its its power. And when it's about getting connected this is what you want to get so that you know this is this is a solid good connection for you to use just do a speed test so i'm just running the speed test here so ping same 30 30 35 actually download um a little bit better slightly 32 31 so we had 18 in the previous version so download sweet sweet ass 31 upload should be better as well um, 25, 30. So I'm just going to let it finish and we will make our judgment if this was worth the effort or not. Oh wow, look at that. 31, 3 down, 31, 2 up. Uh, yeah, if, if my back wasn't hurting, I would really make a, um, a, a significant jump because that is phenomenal. I'm super chuffed. So what do we do? We put an external antenna onto the 950, and by doing that, as I said in my previous explanation as well, it doesn't matter now how you configure this. If this antenna is on the roof, facing the actual suburb, you can now place the antenna wherever you want to place it. Uh, not the antenna, sorry, the modem. The cable does the connection from that antenna. That's where the network connects to it, through to the modem, which you can hide in the cupboard, or you can put it somewhere where it makes sense for you, knowing that you connect to the network, through the position of the export to 950 so the next test and probably the next video will be doing exactly the same with the night talk in this case i have the m6 on me um the, the um the residency have an m2 but from a radio perspective and what the radio does it's going to be the same um effect again just as a final comment when you switch from before and after with an excellent antenna, it is a good idea to reset the modem just so that everything is a good clean start with the new setup involved. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.